Are you live stream DJing on Twitch or any of the other platforms? Well, if you want to get a little bit more bang out of OBS and have an easier time scaling your videos to make compositions like this, you're going to want to watch this tutorial. Stick around. Let's go. What's happening, guys? This is Jason from Overcast TV, and today I'm going to show you how to easily tile backgrounds like this. If you have seen any of my other tutorials, you'll know I have done one that shows on manual scaling, but I've got a new technique that can make this a lot easier for you to do using OBS's internal filters, and you can get pretty creative with it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. First thing you're going to want to do, you guessed it, go down to your scenes down in the bottom left corner, click the plus, and add a new scene. We're going to call this one Tiled. Tell it OK. And here we are in the new scene. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is click plus, go down, add a new media source, and we'll call this one Big Cube. Tell it OK. Per usual, click the loop, close file when inactive, go to Browse, and we're going to add it. Now, you'll notice here this says it's a 4K video, and that's going to get important. As I add it, you see it's much larger than my canvas because my canvas is only 1920 by 1080. Now, while you can just go up in the left corner and click and drag, like I've shown in previous tutorials, a way that's way easier to do it and actually will get you a far more accurate result for your scale is to go under your filters, click the little plus here, and then do scaling aspect ratio. Tell it OK. And then under your resolution, you can scale it down to the base canvas resolution just like that. Tell it to close. All ready to go. Piece of cake. So. Going back into the filters, you can see where this might come in useful when you're trying to create that tiling effect like I showed there. So rather than scaling it to our full canvas size, which by the way, 1920 by 1080, you'll notice no difference occurred there. So if we want to start tiling it out, what we do then is go down to what is half of that. So half of 1920 by 1080 is going to be 960 by 540. And so you can see now it takes up a quarter of the screen perfectly. So from there, I will go right click it tell it to copy it, right click in here and paste the reference. Now I'm gonna drag this one over to the right and you'll see it sort of snaps in place. You'll notice it leaves the, the blue outline on the left side to make it a little bit easier to line up. Same thing again, go back down, right click, paste reference. It's always gonna paste it over the top of the first one. So this one I drag down and it snaps into place. Third times here for number four, we'll drag this guy down into the bottom right corner and as soon as it snaps into place, now we've got a pretty good tiling scene going. You can go ahead and lock these layers and then select all three of them, right click, go to group selected items, and now this is all turned into one thing. We'll call this group cube group. And if I could spell, <clears throat> then we can collapse it. it, takes up a little bit less room in your sources. And now from here, we can tile it again. So same thing, go under your filters, click plus, Add scaling and aspect ratio, tell it OK. And from here, same thing. We'll go down and pick that same 960 by 540, close it out, and just repeat the same process. Copy this, paste the duplicate, drag it over into place, collapse the layer, right click it, paste it again. We'll put this guy in the bottom right corner. The order doesn't really matter, entirely up to you. Deselect. Paste duplicate, drag this one down, collapse the layer, and now locked all into place. We've got a pretty good tiled background going there. Now I need to add my camera back in. And so if you've already got your camera set up in a scene with just the camera and maybe your microphone, like you can see that I have here, just me on a blank background, and you can see my mic is hitting there. So anyway, since I've got that set up, I'm going to go back to my tiled scene. From here, I go down to my sources, click the plus, and I'm going to add a scene. And then when I look through the scenes, <clears throat> I scroll down until I find my camera scene, select it, tell it OK. And just like that, your scene is set up. So it makes it really easy to go through and create all kinds of different backgrounds and then just very easily drop your camera and microphone right into the scene that you're using. And then from there, obviously, you can do whatever you want as far as adding animators and things like that. So with that, I hope that was super valuable to you guys. If you are interested in cool tempo synced visuals for your DJ live stream like this, please do head over to overcast.tv and check that out. All those are genre purpose, genre specific, tempo synced, purpose built for DJs to be live stream visuals. Now, uh, 
If you are interested in following me anywhere else, make sure to follow me on overcast.tv on Instagram, overcast underscore TV on Twitch. And if you're looking for free motion loops, uh, we've got a three pack of those available to you for free. Just head over to the website and sign up for our newsletter. You get three packs for free and a special discount off your first order. So I hope this has been super great for you guys. Appreciate your time today. This is Jason from Overcast TV. I will see you online.